Hello my friends and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be discussing Series 1, Episode 1 of the brand new USA television series Chucky based on the Child's Play franchise. Now I'll admit I was a little late coming to Child's Play. I had seen all of the Nightmare on Elm Street films and all of the Friday the 13th films before I had ever seen a Child's Play film. But as soon as I saw that first one, I just went out, bought a box set and watched all of them because they are fantastically good fun. I'm sure if you're watching this right now, you probably agree with me because you're already a Chucky fan. So I've got a little bit of admin to do before we get started. First of all, I must introduce you to my co-hosts. First, please do say hello to Miss Tiffany and of course to the star of the show, Chucky. Also, if you haven't watched the episode yet, go out and watch it because I will be discussing some minor spoilers. So it's great to have the original creator of Chucky, Don Mancini, back at the helm. Got some of the same producers on board as well, which means you know the vision for the show overall is going to be accurate to what we know and love about the Child's Play franchise. Also, we have Brad Dorif back voicing Chucky. Even though I think Mark Hamill did a sensational job in the 2019 remake of Child's Play, because he is a great voice actor, let's be honest. Brad Dorif, he just is Chucky. In the same way that Robert Englund is Freddy Krueger, Brad Dorif just is Charles Lee Ray. So I feel this first episode really nailed the tone of the Charles Play movies. You've got false jump scares, lingering shots of the good guy doll not moving, all the things you know and love from the movie. Chucky doesn't get too talkative too early on either. The episode is almost finished before he even speaks, and when he does, it's a hilarious ventriloquism act. Chucky also has the very good sense to make his first kill look like an accident, which is bound to draw suspicion away from himself amongst this new cast of characters. Chucky's new owner, Jake Webber, played by Zachary Arthur, is a likeable character so far. I'm interested to see where his character arc goes. There's an interesting relationship between him and a young true crime podcaster named Devon that is quite intriguing. I maintain that people watch the Child's Play movies for Chucky, but Andy Barclay from the original movies is a great character. Hopefully Jake will approach that caliber of performance. Overall though, all of the young actors involved are doing a great job so far, and hopefully this will continue. The episode ended with an intriguing twist as well. We'll also be seeing the life and times of a young Charles Lee Ray throughout the series. This should add some intriguing depth to the character because aside from the odd flashbacks in the later movies and his initial death in the first film, we don't know much about Charles prior to him becoming Chucky. So I am very intrigued to see where they go with this. So that's it for now. I'm going to be reviewing every single episode as they come out. So I'll be doing these reviews on Wednesdays or Thursdays, depending on my schedule. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it as ever. If you haven't checked out my other videos, then make sure you like and subscribe and do all that good stuff. So you can go check out the other stuff I do. I do video game reviews and other bits and pieces like that. Top 10 countdowns. So keep an eye on the channel for more stuff like this. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Have you got anything you'd like to add, Chucky? <laughs> Maniacal laughter, that sounds good. Anything else? A true classic never goes out of style. Damn fucking straight. What about you, Tiffany? Have you got anything to say? I love you, Chucky. Oh, don't they just make the cutest couple? Thank you so much for watching.